What's up y'all? I'm back at it again with yet another YouTube video and today I'm going to be doing a video for all of my new kids out there. So yeah, I got you in this video. If you're a new kid currently, if you're an upcoming new kid for the school year, I got you. I got you. And this isn't just for school. This can work anywhere you go, church, that sports team, wherever you're new at. So I got you. Before I start this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And yeah, so a little backstory on myself. So I was a new kid last year. It was freshman year last year. So you're probably wondering, oh, how can you be a new kid your freshman year? Everybody's new. Well, yeah, but see, I moved to a different state. And the school I went to, everybody was like super close-knit. Like it was somebody cousin. Everybody was cousins. Everybody, you know, everybody already knew everybody. So I was just kind of <clears throat> on the outskirt. Like, who was that girl, you know? Who was that girl? You know, who was that girl? So yeah, that was my situation. Um, and it was definitely a new kid experience, if I do say so myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna give y'all some advice from my own experience, and I hope y'all get some out of it. And and I hope I can help you. So yeah, um, the first thing I would probably say that a lot of people, not just new kids, want to hear is the fact that you have to be confident and outgoing at least in the beginning not the whole time no one wants to be confident and outgoing the whole time right so at least in the beginning when like you don't know anybody you just you just brand new fresh out the box you gotta be confident and outgoing sis i'm i'm sorry you just you just got to you know I didn't make the rules. It's just the way it is. So you got to be confident outgoing because people want to talk to you. And it's good for you. It's good for you. It's good for your self-esteem. But people want to talk to you. People want to be friends with you. You'll have people. You know, you'll have people, which is really good. You know, like, people will want to talk to you. People, you, you will attract people. And not just, like, in a romantic type of way, but, like, you will attract people like and you will attract friends to you which is good because it'll eventually if you make friends we all know this you'll feel more comfortable so be confident and outgoing it's good for you and it's good for everybody else the next thing that i would say is um join clubs and activities in your school it's the best thing that you can do. Well, not the best thing that you can do. Being confident and outgoing is the best thing you could do. But it's a good thing that you can do. It's joining clubs and activities that you like because you'll meet people with shared interests, which is really good. They'll have similar interests to you or the same interests as you, which will make them more friend material <laughs> it'll help you build connections it'll just help you get that comfortable feeling that all the new kids want another thing that i would say is don't limit yourself to the first few friends or the first few friend you meet because being the new kid is all about talking to people and having the time of your life socially and just you know like just don't cling on to the first person you meet because that sucks and that's boring and you don't know what else is out there you know don't just try to force it especially if like that first friend or those first two friends don't like click like that because that's what i did and <laughs> well i did it for like the first half of the school year and then the rest you know i kind of you know started knocking some sense to my head but yeah Please don't do that because it's not fun and it's not adventurous. You don't know what else is out there for you. You don't know what else is out there for you to discover. So just get out there. Get yourself out there. <laughs> Another thing that I will say is do not, or whatever you do, do not fake who you are to fit in with people. This is really, really important because um, you'll discover that Everybody's not going to have the same, you know, interests as you. Everybody's not going to have the same beliefs as you. Uh, everybody not, uh, everybody's not going to have the same beliefs as you. Make sure you stay true to yourself, true to your values, true to your morals. And just don't change yourself for people. Because 
that's not the way to go. Because even if you become friends with these people, they won't really be friends with you. They'll be friends with the person that you're trying to be. So that's not the way. That's not the way. Another thing that I struggle with was um, another thing is that things will change eventually. Now, I really did not have the best attitude. Really, I did not have the best attitude. I I mean, it wasn't a negative attitude, but it wasn't the attitude that I should have had. Keep an optimistic attitude. You have to keep an optimistic attitude if you want to thrive as a new kid. If you want to get comfortable, you have to keep an optimistic attitude. It'll make things move a lot quicker. It'll make people more like um, attracted to you, attracted to being around you. And it'll make things comfortable quicker, like I said. So just keep an optimistic attitude. Try not to be negative, even though I know it's like really hard to not be negative or to not just be just tired of being new yes I was really tired of being new I just wanted to be I just wanted things to be familiar that was my thing I was tired of coming to school and just not being comfortable not being you know just not being familiar but things will change up soon if you keep a good attitude it'll go faster but regardless things will change soon for the people who are going to specifically a new school I know how it gets like lunchtime. Lunchtime should be the best time of the day for every student. But for the new kids, for the new kid, that is not the case. Lunchtime is just anxiety. It's just an anxious time. It's just anxious. All you could just feel your heart beating at your chest because you don't know where to sit, bruh. You don't know where to sit. And it sucks because like... Lunchtime is supposed to be enjoyable, but not not in this case. But a thing I learned, because when I was a new kid, I sat by myself a few times just because I did not want to approach anybody. I did not want to ask nobody, can I sit with you? I was not trying to do that. So I paid the consequence and I sat by myself. And don't sit by yourself, especially if you don't want to. Sitting by yourself is like, mmm. It's so much more awkward because you could just feel people's eyes on your back, on your shoulders, on your neck. You could feel just people just watching your every move. And it's so weird and it's just so not, it's not, it's not the move. So, like, if you find yourself standing up with your lunch tray in the middle of the lunchroom, just walk over it. Well, look around and look at a table with space. You know, find some people who look like people you would click with and I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover but in this case you might want to just find people that look like they're having a good time or people that seems like you can click with you know and just walk over there and say hi I'm new can I sit with you even though that sounds super generic but you could say something along those lines and it'll work out just fine if they say no then you wouldn't even want to sit with them in the first place because that's just that's just me like that's just me, honestly. For all my new kids out there, like I say, you're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine if you just keep a positive attitude and, you know, be yourself. Everything will be totally fine. Well, you'll, you'll face some obstacles and you'll definitely have that feeling of just uncomfortableness for a while. But it will change and things will get better because you can only go up. So just, you know... Keep, keep the spirit alive, I guess. I don't know. I'm saying just like a bunch of cliche things, but keep the spirit alive. Yeah, do that. Just keep a positive attitude. And also, being the new kid is actually a good thing because it really adds that skill. It gives you a skill of adapting to new situations, of, you know, like, mm, just better at being new, you know? It just makes you better at being new. So I definitely, being a new kid will benefit you. So just get past this and you'll be fine. You'll be fine and you'll be even better in the future. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, and also I'm going to be the new kid again next school year. Well, the school year coming up, I'm actually going to be the new kid again. So that's something. And um. Honestly, I'm really excited for it just because I did it before. So I think I can do it just fine again. But yeah, um, 
good luck y'all and please give this video a like comment and subscribe down below um check out my old videos stay tuned for new videos and bye guys